Okay. Guys, so I have put in probably about a good how many hours into this game so far? Has grown uglier. Wow. Well, screw you. Um I think I've put in about 13 or so hours into this game so far. And the fact of the matter is, is that I finally now start grasping the servers of it. As funny as that is. So yesterday, we've made a lot of progress. First off, this is my main island. I'll show you guys quickly around, okay? Just because I, um... I guess that makes it a little bit easier. We have, like, a steel district over here. We have leveled up a bunch of artisans. We've got a whole bunch of areas covered on my main base or on my main island. However, we're kind of running out of space. I've set up a second harbor over here, which is here mostly because I've settled on another island right over here as well. The issue that I ran out, uh, ran, out, uh, ran into, there you go, on my main island is that my artisans, my fancy people, they want canned foods and like other things. Now apparently the issue about, uh, about canned food is that you have to like... What was it again? We had to like get a... Oh yeah, we had to get red bell peppers. Which we do not have the fertility for on my main island. So we had to expand to a different place. Now, I do have a pretty big farm over here right now. We have some red pepper production. We have a lot of cattle farm. And basically all of the stuff that we produce on this island... Hi. Gets brought back by Simon G to watch my main island. And then we refine it over there. And basically, hopefully that way people are going to become a little bit happier about what's going on. And... Hopefully, then, we can eventually transition towards the next tier of people as well. Now, while we were all doing that, though... We had a ship, an expedition, that was headed towards the New World. This is the New World, right over here. New World is a little bit different. You can see all of the houses are different. All of the crops are different. Everything that we do over here is just a little bit different. There's things we can grow around here that we cannot grow in the main world, and, or in the old world, I guess, and the other way around. So, I've basically tried my very best to settle onto this island while simultaneously managing the other one, and it gets a little bit complicated. Hey, Loco, you should expand to some islands before Key takes the islands, so you have to go to war to get a new one? Well, I don't want to go to war. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, this is my first time ever playing Anno, so I, I'll keep the recommendation in mind, but I'm not really gonna rush it, you know what I mean? I kind of just want to take my time and just do it one one thing at a time. Because there's a lot of things we have to take care of. I didn't even know you could go to war. I figured as much, but... Mm -mm -mm. Not too many changes, I hope. Oh, the editor. Uh, impeccable timing, as always. The editor apparently is trying to uh, publish another These article. Lands exist after all. Okay, okay, I'll have a look at that in just a little bit. Um, apparently the sewing machines are running out. Do we want to publish that? This guy... Wants to publish this, which will apparently uh, lower my uh, lower my uh, my importance. Well, well, well. You know what I think we should publish instead? I think we should publish this. Of course, you know what's best. I agree. Yes. And what about this? I can't believe that I, I I did not think of this sooner. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Close call there, buddy. Almost had your head on the chopping board. Okay, cool. Censorship is. No, no, no. We are uh, controlling the press, guys. We're doing what we need to do. Game save. That's how it works, right? We, we need to control the press, right? I think. Maybe. Am I a jerk for doing that? By the way, what do you guys think is a good spot for the sellout bar? I kind of feel like that's not the ideal position that I got over there. Um, where do you think is a good spot for the sellout bar? Maybe in between here? What do you think? I think that's a good spot. It's not a bad spot. Right? At least it's not covering any any information over there. There we go. New subscriber detected. Yo, eh, or Anish. Thank you very much for the two month resub. Good to see you. Thank you very much. Welcome. Ship all right. Disrupted. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I'm starting to run a little bit low on people in my island. Apparently, why are you guys pissed off now? You guys don't need what? Why do you all need bread all of a sudden? I had, I had a lot of bread. What happened to the bread that you had? So the issue is I'm running out of space, guys. That's a troubling, uh, troubling idea. I guess we can make some more, uh, some more bread plantations over here. Bread plantations. Listen to me. Some more grain farms. But I don't have a lot of places anymore to build. Does make the game a little bit more difficult, not gonna lie. 
bread plantations. I've been spending too much time in the new world. Um, okay. I kind of want to have a road that leads over here, I think. There we go. Might not be a bad idea. Can I, uh... There we go. That'll do. So we have some more bread right over there. Some more, uh, some more wheat. Then apparently we need a flour mill as well. Which I can put down right over there. And then I guess we'll get one more bakery too, because why the heck not? This world that I've created over here, or this, this area that I've created over here, this first island that we got, really is not particularly well optimized, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I'm actually thinking about... Like, settling on an our island and making that my main capital. I'm not entirely sure if I'm crazy for saying that, but... Anyways, so we have... I think I need one more, right? I think I need one more, uh... Yeah, we need two bakeries. For each, uh... For each mill that we have. So I'll put one more over here as well. Anyways, I'm thinking about maybe settling on another island later, and then just making that my capital. Because this place is just ugly, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. It's just not a very pretty looking area. I tried my best to make it look aesthetic, but I kind of have this been mixing and matching everything. A revolution. What? Whoa, 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 there's a riot! Justice here on Earth. Oh my god. There's a riot apparently going on right over here. Um, okay, so we really need to take control of the artisans, because the artisans are kind of kind of becoming uh, a problem. They need canned food, okay. Canned food is right over here. I guess I just need more artisans, right? I guess I just need more artisans, because otherwise I just don't have enough. The issue is... ...that I don't have enough of them right now. But I also don't seem to have enough regular workers. I think I'm gonna extend the, uh, the farmer area right over here. You guys are all happy, right? Yeah, you guys are all happy. Uh, let's make a bunch of homes. It's just that this area over here... ...is not ideal. Because it lives very close, right next to the heavy, uh, heavy machinery right over there. We need more people! Are you guys cool now? I hope they are. Oh my god. This is apparently what happens when you don't give people their sewing machines, guys. You don't give them the sewing machines and immediately they start rioting and, and they get aggressive, apparently. Game save. Okay. My bread supply is improving. Which should mean that I can upgrade more of these houses once again. My farmers are very happy. I got that going for me. That's good, right? At least the majority of them are. So why why do you guys... Okay, you live a little far away from the market? You live right next to the market, mate. Well, I guess you have to go pretty far around. Yeah, okay. I should have built in blocks of like 2x2. Two two. That would have been way better. So why are you guys pissed? You also live a little too far from the market. Yeah. I should have thought about that when I first started building, but the thing is I'd never played this game before, so I had no idea what was even possible, or what I was trying to achieve. Do I have any houses over here that can be upgraded? Oh yeah. Gotta be careful that I don't run out of... Uh, ...of farmers, but... Okay, that will do. And then I need to upgrade some of these artisan homes as well. Because we need more artisans. 
One more? Okay, two more. Okay, three more. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We got enough artisans once again. You guys calm down. You guys are still rioting. My god. I really need to make sure that we fulfill their needs. Okay, supply for canned food is improving right now because we have people working in the actual production of it. I think that was the issue. Oh, that's a good suggestion. If I upgrade the roads over here, would they be able to reach faster? I think so, right? So if I get a bunch of roads set up over here, they might not be as annoyed anymore. Because that way they can reach the market easier, right? I've got a lot of bricks anyway, so I may as well. So this is the center part of my uh, of my uh, settlement over here. Okay, that's a good suggestion. I actually considered building another one of those marketplaces, but I think this is uh, more convenient and a little bit quicker. Because I don't really have the luxury to destroy any buildings and replace them with a marketplace or something along those lines. Is there a faster way actually for upgrading roads? I wish there was an easy way for me to see if roads still needed upgrading. Okay, now that the artisans are a little happy as well, immediately we see that there's way more of them. I guess the same can be said right here for the police station then, right? Because these policemen took a little while to move over here. I didn't consider that part either. Okay, so roads definitely are... An important necessity. So basically at some point I ran into the issue that I didn't have enough uh, income. So I started adding on a stupid amount of homes. Which saved the game I suppose. I was almost I was almost going to lose. But the thing is that it also immediately cost me quite a bit. In the sense that all of these people have a lot of needs. And eventually I just simply grew a little faster than I could keep up with. And it started looking pretty terrible as well I think. Alright. Everyone feeling a little bit better now? Okay. So, canned food supply is looking good. Right? Supply is still improving. I think we're okay. What's going on, Space Age? Good to see you, man. How are you doing today? All right. The next thing that we have to worry about is fur coats. <sighs> okay. Apparently, in order to get fur coats, I need to get cotton. Cotton, however, is only available in the new world. Who's surprised? Not me. So, yeah, I can get the hunting cabin going right now. I'm doing pretty good, man. Yeah, doing pretty good. We can we can get a hunting cabin going. Is that possible to do over here? I guess I need artisans over here if I want to do that. No, we shouldn't do that. Game save. Can I put a hunting cabin over here? Ship oh, this is just like uh, just like the, the lumber production. I didn't realize that part. Okay, I want to put up two of them over here. I know it's not efficient, but... I'm running out of space. So this is going to be some hunting over here. Which is nice and all. It's just that we don't really have any any cotton right now. So I guess if we do this, I guess if we want to start the fur coat production, we also have to head on back to the new world and continue expanding over there. Hmm. Well, let's do that then. I'm doing well, man. Feeling a lot better now. Okay. So, this is New Leniopolis. A quaint... Colony. I need a new island. Ready. I need a new island. Uh, space age. What do I need to have again for an island? Just say the word. Did I bring steel beams? That was the issue, right? I needed steel beams. I'm pretty sure I brought them on one of my ships. 
Didn't I? Oh, yeah, I did. On Tall Poor. Where's Tall Poor at? Oh, Tall Poor's right over there. I believe I needed wood as well, right? What do you need again to settle on a new on a new island? I thought it was steel beams and wood or planks, maybe. A new commission. Okay, okay. So I've got a whole bunch uh, a whole bunch of stuff over here. This island, right at this point or right over here, this one can grow cotton. So I should really try and get some cotton set up in this area. Yeah, my main island, the island I got here first off, does not have the option to grow cotton. Like, apparently there's no fertility for it, so that's an issue. But We'll try and sail towards uh, a currently not yet taken island. Ooh, what about here? This is a little bit faster. Yeah, it's gonna be a little more convenient. Is this my area? Oh, this is cool, actually. Can we, can we sail through that, you think? I'm not sure. Maybe I can, like, unload some stuff over here. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, I need you to go over here. Loco, it's been ages. Nice to see you in a good mood. What's going on, Dr. Smirk? I am in a good mood, yeah. I actually made two videos earlier today. I've been taking it a little easier this uh, this week. Word. Decided to uh, to take a week off the gym, so I've been sleeping a little bit more. I'm feeling great. Okay, I need to make a settlement over here. This. Yes, an outpost. Alright. Better not to keep all the eggs in one basket. On our way. So, here's my new island. Wow, Wait, where's my uh big ones there? Is there an easy way to switch between your islands? Ooh, what are we gonna call this island? Uh, well, we have... We Your have New Leniopolis. New Locopia, I guess. Right? New Locopia. A quaint Ceasefire settlement. Has ended. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to produce cotton over here. And that cotton actually needs to be sailed from here to the old world. What's going on, Sir Skull? How are you doing, man? Good morning from America. How are you doing, buddy? Good to see you. You come in at the perfect moment. I'm just about to... Uh, to take control of a new place. There's a place in this world. And I'm gonna use it to make cotton. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let myself go there for a second. Okay, so first off, we need to make homes. People need homes, apparently. I don't know why either. A little lame, but fair enough. Um, I think this center bit right over here is pretty good for uh, for some... Eh, that'll do. For some, uh, some homes. And I want to be smart here. And put the buildings down in like a little square. Like little, little squares like this. So not like massive places right all over on top of each other but something that's a little bit more manageable all right now we don't currently have any planks over here um i am not gonna need too much on this island i think i'm mostly just gonna utilize it at least for now for production of um ship construction Production of uh, of cotton, so we'll leave that as it is. Oh, I need planks for these bridges. Oh, I didn't realize that part. Um. Okay, let's let's set one up over here then as well. This is probably going to be a temporary one. Let's set up a couple of temporary ones. So we can utilize uh, this place. Okay, there we go. So we need. Yeah, we need two of those. 
Look, this is how America was built. The old world is Europe. Yeah, America. No, I mean, yeah, Europe. Europe. Heck yeah. Coming again to settle on an island. How'd I do? All right. Can you guys get some planks? But where to? You should go sit in the shade, boss. <laughs> I should go and sit in the shade. Oh, you know what I should do? New subscriber detected. I should put down a, uh, a warehouse. Yep. Yo, Diazepan, what's up, man? Hey, look, oh, my favorite part of the stream is always those <laughs> improvised songs. We're not going far without more hands. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, so early May, I am going to take a week off, Dr. Smirk. Uh, me and the girlfriend are heading on a holiday to Egypt, if everything goes according to plan. We've never been there before. Oh god, I'm losing money, I'm losing money. Whoa, whoa, we are dropping money so fast. Is something going on in the old world? Uh, are people pissed off at me? What's up? Everything seems to be smooth. I need something to blunt my rage on. You need something to blunt your rage on? Why well, do you need to blunt the freaking rage on? Who the heck blunts their rage? Who says that? I need something to blunt my rage on. I'd grasp a wild swan and fly wherever it flew. <laughs> <laughs> that guy, man. <laughs> He's a little pathetic. Hey, why are you guys once again low on, on canned food? What's up with that? I had canned food for you guys. Okay, hold up. How do you know? I'm missing particular materials. I'm missing iron. So I've got enough... Yes, I've got enough here for the goulash. That's cool. I need iron? Iron, really? Am I selling iron by any chance? I've got zero iron. Oh my god, is that why? I may have had it balanced at zero. Um, I do have a couple of iron mines over here. Yes, and then I also have some smelters. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should just sell a couple smelters. We I mean, the requisite material. they are hoarding some of the iron as well. We don't need that much iron. We don't need that many iron bars, I mean. Alright. So that should, uh, that should allow me to get a couple more... A uh, couple more right here for the tinned goods. Right? I hope so. I'm still missing iron. I can get iron as well from the other island that I'm on here right now. There's iron on this island. Uh, yeah, we have three iron deposits, which is really nice. It's just that in order to control iron, you gotta do the other thing. <laughs> and that is stack up to workers. Now, Whatever you can go you do, for the master, next level workers. And that's not a terrible idea. Seductive charts, bury my desk. It's just a bit risky. As, uh, that also means more mouths to feed and these workers they require more fancy goods they don't just want to live life with just schnapps and what else they need like bread and stuff what's going on Hintane? how are you doing buddy what's going on ala legumi good to see you buddy Okay, so apparently they need more fish. We can do that. We're all full up. Wait. 
Output storage is full for the fishery? Yet you guys want more fish? What's going on here? Workforce shortage. Oh no, these are just the homes I built a second ago. Okay. I was gonna say. Alright. Well, I guess we just need to bite the bullet. We need to get these iron mines set up. It's gonna be a little annoying. Because these workers need a lot more stuff. I guess I could import it as well from my other settlement. Not a terrible idea. You've no face for poker. They need sausages, bread, and then apparently soap and other things as well. Um, we don't necessarily have to provide all of it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure we could go with only a couple. It's not a terrible idea. Just gonna make things a little bit more complicated. All right. How much of these do you think we need? I don't need a ton of workers here. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Music in this game is so pretty, man. I'm doing great, uh, the, the real Nakora. How are you doing, buddy? You're doing good as well here today? Nice. Yeah, there is a shortcut to upgrade your houses, but it's okay. We only need to upgrade a couple. Okay. Um, let's make some sausages then as well. Sorry to my vegan viewers. There we have it. Sausages. Sausages. Apparently. Um, do we make bread as well? I need them to not riot. That's kind of the thing. No rioting allowed in this place, okay? Well, I mean... Technically, it's allowed allowed. It's just that rather, I prefer you don't. Uh, I started a little early today, Diazepan, yeah. I've been trying to be a little bit more flexible with my stream times and the times that I make content at. So rather than being super strict like I've always been in the past, I kind of want to loosen it up a little bit. Just because sometimes I'm done a little early with other work and I make my videos already and I figured, you know what, I can sit around for a little while and do nothing or I could stream a little bit earlier. And some days maybe I'm not going to be able to stream as early and I'm just going to start a little bit later, but I want to be a little more flexible, if that makes any sense. So, uh, yes, I did start a little bit earlier today, but we're going to go for a little bit longer. Yeah, why not? Right? It's, it's, you know. Who cares? Who cares? I'm the first one that got Nick Cora, right? Oh, nice. Look at what happens when you have to expand, but there's no more available places. You go to another island. And I guess if you need to get another island, but there's no more place on the island you are on, uh, I guess you may have to go to war. I don't really want to go to war, though. Don't think I should do that. All right. So these should start producing wheat. Wheat. Over here. And then we also need to get some bricks. Are there bricks on this island? There are. Is there a clay pit anywhere? Does anyone see a clay pit? I don't see a clay pit. Ah, there it is. Okay, we need a warehouse over here as well. And a way for this to lead back towards the main world. <laughs> Can I make a path down that way? No. There we go. There ain't enough of us. There ain't enough of us. 
All right. Remember when I said I didn't want to make too many of these? A new milestone. Yeah. I guess you are inevitably going to improve your uh, your lands. So, just in order for me to get... Uh, what was I even doing this for in the first place again? Does anyone remember? <laughs> I wanted to do... Oh, yeah. I needed the iron production. All I wanted was the iron production over here. But because these people apparently need to be happy and, like, they need, like, things... Look the governor's here. Takes a little bit of time. Loco, is this game hard? Uh, I mean, it's not easy, but I'm not playing on a super hard difficulty. Okay. If you, uh, if you improve the difficulty, I'm sure it gets a lot harder, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to get iron for more canned goods. So this is cool. This is iron. Workforce shortage. There's three iron mines. There's one more over here. Oh, I need more steel for that. Or more clay for that, rather. But to solve the issues on one island, I'm trying to do so... Uh, I'm trying to, to uh, solve the issue from one island by... It's pretty funny. By trading back and forth. Um, one thing we can still do, actually, since I am a little bit low right now on, um, yeah, a little bit low on, uh, on clay. We can load, we can load up on clay in the main city, a little bit, we don't need too much. And then unload it in Locopia. I think that works. Oh. So, hold up. I can't do that on this boat. Can I, oh, you can add another ship to this thing? Oh, sick. I didn't realize you could you could add another ship just like that. Oh, that's really convenient. So, wait. We have Simon G over here who is a... Um, he's got... Yeah, he's a clipper. And I've, I've made another one. Delphis, for example, over here. Or Orpheus. Oh, cool. Okay, tall po or, or tall poor rotter is also a. Uh... Okay, so wait, hold up. We are gonna load up in Leniopolis. On I guess bricks, bricks works as well. And then we can unload them over there. Yeah. Some of your ships do not possess enough... Wait, how does that work? Oh, I thought they would, like, help each other out. But I guess now it's gonna be, like, two that are going back and forth. Game save. Okay, no. I guess I guess we have to set up a separate one. I don't want to have two of them. We can create a new trade route. It's also going between these two islands once again. Uh, we'll put Talpor on the job. Isn't Talpor in the other world, though? I don't know if we want to do that. Let's do Flying Dodo. Flying Dodo was just created. I, that's not his name, by the way. We are going to switch the name up of Flying Dodo very soon. Now, let's just go with 50. You load up in Leniopolis, you unload over there. Accept. Anything else we should load up over there? Let's see. Anything else you guys need? Soap. I would like soap as well. Can you do the soap situation? Um. Can you load up as well on soap? Do I have a lot of that? No, I don't. Okay, never mind. Loco, I can't stay out of negative earning in my campaign playthrough. You probably have to make more houses, Sergeant Tucker. Like, these people pay taxes. This. this is how we seem to make money. I have a lot of homes.
Um, I need another one of these soap factories. Is there a way for me to jump to the one that I've got? Oh. Well, we can't jump to it, but we can find it. That works. Alright, that's gonna allow me to make a little bit more soap. Yeah, overproducing definitely seems better. I'm no expert though, uh, certain Tucker, so I'm not sure. Anyhow, uh, here's what we're gonna do. Flying Dodo! Congratulations, you've got a new name. This is a new boat that we just made. I will name you after the most recent subscriber to the live stream. And guess who that was? Diazapan! Welcome to the fleet. You're a clipper. You're a clipper. How does it feel, Diazapan? You're a boat. Look at you. No, no, no. That's not you. That's Simon G. You kind of look the same, though. Look at you, man. My God. You look incredible. Has anyone ever told you that, Diazapan? You look incredible, man. Woo! Okay, that is a pretty boat. Not gonna lie. Uh, this is a pretty boat. Pretty boat. A real pretty boat. Oh god. There's not enough people over here, huh? Did you guys at least uh, get the, the lumber under control over here? You didn't. What have you guys been doing all this time? Nowhere to take it. Oh, I need... This is counterintuitive. The stupid bridge I made, man. I shouldn't have made that stupid bridge. I wouldn't worry. Most only look at the pictures. Uh. You lost an influence bonus. Oh my god, I'm losing so much money all of a sudden. Yo! Yo, Good yo, yo, shortage. yo! I shouldn't have made that stupid bridge. Why did I make a stupid bridge? Um, I need... Oh my god. Let's keep an eye out on that income situation there. A new commission? Talpor. I need you... To load up on planks. Good and ready. Yes. We never sink a ship if we can take... Okay, let's see if we're gonna go into positive again, because that's not good. I'm losing way too much money. Okay, please head over there. You're pretty fast, right, Topor? Ah, he's pretty fast. Why are we still losing so much money? What's going on all of a sudden? I wanted to solve this issue over here. I do, I do have a tourism thing. I just haven't put down my museum and zoo. Maybe I should do that. If you're saying that makes a lot of money, that might not be a terrible idea. Okay. Ready for a challenge. So you're saying tourism is the way to make money in this game, huh? Okay. New subscriber detected. Alright, alright, alright. DF Danny, thank you so much, man. Loco, thank you for the lurk content, he says. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. Welcome. I still have a few stories. How okay, so people are likely gonna move in right now, right? Everything's fine. Very good. We need to make the, we need to make this place at least somewhat self-sufficient. This is an island mostly just meant for uh, for harvesting, though, right? We don't really want to care too much about what else is going on here. But I guess every island starts that way. <laughs> really? Okay, no, it's...
that's so great. So that one is gonna load up on bananas. This one's gonna load up on fish oil. Isn't the isn't the trading post? Uh, uh, oh, okay, I guess not. Let's make a warehouse over here. I thought the the trading post was a warehouse. Maybe it is actually. Maybe I just don't have a road. Yeah, I think I just don't have a road. Pretty sure it is. Five times we have. Yeah, it's it's dropping off its stuff over there. Could you really not have walked that way? Is that really impossible for you, mate? All right. So what we are trying to do in this uh, in this isle or on this island, rather, is where is it? Ah, the production of cotton. That's what we actually want. I need way more people here first. Actually, I don't want these. And I guess we also need to make sure we have a fire station over here. Just in case. Probably want to make one before you need one. There we go. So we made some more homes. A couple more places where people can live. Okay, so as soon as more people move in, we should be okay. Love the music, by the way, in this area. It's so pretty. Like, the music in this game, I don't know how that is with the other Anno games, but it's really good in general. Really enjoying it. Oh, I'm not respecting the newspaper enough, am I? Yeah, my uh, economy is not doing very well. Alright, so we've got that one underway, and then we need to get rid of this cotton situation, or at least solve the cotton income. We need a lot of it. So, I need for every cotton plantation, for every two cotton plantations, I need one cotton mill. Right? Am I reading that correctly? I think so. So, let's do it over here. Can I make a bit of a road that leads over here? Okay. Does cost, uh, it does cost me a couple planks, though, but it is what it is. Game save. Does that fit? No, it doesn't. That's okay. Yeah, my uh, my money is dropping quite quickly right now, Drone Rush. I'm hoping it's gonna resolve itself, but I'm not so sure. Good on, mister! Good to see you. What? How does this work? Hold up. Oh, I thought it was gonna need space to, like, build cotton, but I guess not. Or to grow cotton, but I guess it doesn't need space. Is this all it needs? Oh, no, 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 I do have to plant it. Okay, I was gonna say. New subscriber new. Hey, Master Noodle! 48 months in a row! Woo! My man. That's a very long time. Thank you so much. Can I get 77,000 pokers? You new mean low pokes? Detected. You mean low pokes. That's what you mean, right? Thank you very much, Master Noodle, for the generosity. And then Moist Muffin, thank you as well for the four months in a row. 
if I could see a round of low pogs in the chat for Master Noodle, that would be incredible. Thank you, man. Yeah, I went live a little bit earlier today because I felt like it. That's that's the full story, guys. I know, not very exciting. Not a very exciting story, but... Thank you, dude. And thank you as well, M Mistress Master Noodle. You guys are totally married now, right? I mean, you've been together for like, what? A couple years. So, you're pretty much married now. Oh, wait, are you actually married? I was joking. Oh, you're married and you have eight kids on the way? Okay. With five houses under our name? Okay, okay, I see how it is. Well, congratulations, guys. I hope all of your kids will become electronic sports athletes. You're trying to breed the perfect atle athlete. I see how this. It's just, you know. All right. So we're making uh, we're making Colton. Get excited. I'm still losing money, guys. It's not great. Do people in this country get any social benefits for all those taxes they pay? No. What do you think this is? Norway? You think we have that kind of money over here? We do have oil. Norway has oil. Oh, crap. Maybe I am Norway. <laughs> I know there's a bunch of Norwegians watching. Basically, once upon a time, here, here's European history for those of you unfamiliar. Once upon a time, we decided, you know what? We should stop, like, doing this war thing between each other because it kind of sucks. We shouldn't do war because, you know, it kind of sucks everything and we don't really like it anymore. So we opened up a map of the way that, like, Europe laid out. That we started drawing lines through the water for who owned what. Turns out the Netherlands has a really nice peek into the water because most of our country is bordered to the sea. So we have a whole bunch of ocean as well. Now, obviously, Norway is a little bit more northern and they're basically all covered in, 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 in water as well, right? And they drew like a nice little line around where they would like to have their land as well. And we were like, okay, great. You guys get that piece of the, of the water. Turns out their piece of the water has a lot of oil on the ground. And Norway right now... You know, they're, like, wiping away their tears with 100 euro bills. Or whatever you guys use. With 100, like... I don't know what you guys use in Norway. Nor Norgens, probably. You're, like, wiping away... Crowns? 100... 1,000 crown bills is what you use to wipe away the tears. It makes a lot of sense. Well, according to Lanistas, you use euros, Master Noodle. I hate to break it to you, but... You're a European boy. So you use European monies. You're a fake Norwegian, confirmed. They wipe away their eye or their their <laughs> they wipe away their ice with surf throwing. It's like no 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 no. Well I guess you could probably wipe away your ice with that stuff. I watched this video, um What? Oh. I watched this video. Of, um, what's his name? Jamie Oliver doing this show in Norway. And uh, they made him taste surströmming. 
Which, I, if I understand correctly, is quite literally pickled herring or something along those lines. And, um... He didn't... Well, he pretended to like it, but I'm pretty sure all of his body language at the very least was very clear. He wasn't a big fan. I have no idea what it is. Well, I do know what it is. It's just... I don't know. It didn't look particularly exciting. Alright, so we have a lot of cotton right now. Surströmming. That was best Norwegian. How did I do? I hope for a 2 out of 10. Norge! <clears throat> Sorry. Limit reach. Okay. Alright. Hey, guys, uh, remember when I hoped that my situation would be solving itself? My money situation? I just see it dropping. Oh, wait. Surströmming is Swedish? Oh, I thought it was... Oh, it's not It's not Norwegian. Oh. All right. Man, what do I have to hate on? Like, if, if I can hate on Surströmming, right? And it's... It's not even Norwegian. What do I hate on when it comes to Norway? I don't know, man. Still waiting for it to arrive. All right. Reindeer? You can hate on Lutfisk? Yeah, but nobody knows what any of that is. <laughs> All right, guys. Look at this. 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 Look at what we made, right? While we were talking about very important things. Look at this. We set up a beautiful cotton field. And also this refinery in the cotton mill, and we're gonna ship all of the cotton. We're not gonna like it. these people don't need the cotton, guys. Don't worry about it. We're gonna use the cotton at home. Uh, let's create a trade route. I need to create a new trade route with um, Top Ore, I think. Top Ore is nearby. Who else is nearby? Yeah, Top Ore. Top Ore. You are now known as the cotton. Cotton man, cotton, cotton trade route. There you go. You're not known as the cotton man. There you go. Um, I need you to pick up the cotton in New Lacopia, and I need you to drop it off in Leniopolis. I know it's gonna be a little bit of traveling. Don't worry. I need you to pick up all of the all of the cotton, the cotton fabric. Yes. And then I need you to unload it in Leniopolis. And I need you to wait until you're full on goods. Yep. Just say the word. Um, well, I just gave you the word, Topor. Gotta pay attention, my man. Okay, you listened. Very good. So that should eventually bring cotton right now to uh, to the old world. Very good. Very good. Game saved. All right. So why are we losing money again? What is going on here? Why are you guys all pissed off at me? What did I do to you? Thank your loving kindness. Oh, see, she's happy. This is the kind of mindset that we need. Thank your loving kindness. That's what we need. You guys need more soap, huh? Supply is improving for soap, though, mate. Don't worry about it. You need more bread again as well? My god, you guys are hungry. Um. I guess I can produce bread on the other island and, and like, bring some of it over. Do you think that's a good idea? I am producing some bread. Do you guys have enough bread it's over here? How you're born, innit? <laughs> it's all how you're born, innit? Alright. How are you guys doing on bread? You guys do have some bread, but not that much. I'm uh, I'm gonna continue building more... More bread. I guess you don't really build bread, but you get what I'm trying to say. Okay, we need to have um, some insane bread production over here. We're gonna, like, start outsourcing some of the things. We're gonna start outsourcing bread. 
How exciting is that? I see you guys are very hyped about it as well. Look what all my citizens are unhappy. Oh no. If you're interested in... Uh, I know 1800 coaching. Head on over to my Patreon page. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just painting pretty pictures with grain. <laughs> if you also want to learn how to do the easiest difficulty in the game, head on over to my Patreon page. Alright. I need a warehouse. It doesn't have to be a fancy warehouse, just a warehouse. Dude, we are gonna make so much bread. I guess if I outsource all the bread though, right? We can really use that as well and just replace the bread that we get in our main area with, you know, bread from here. And then we can, we can remove those areas in our main island or on our main spot and then use that for more homes. That's just math. Yeah. Who wants to be upgraded? Oh, I'm actually low on farmers. Just kidding. You guys get upgraded. Didn't actually mean you to be upgraded, but it's okay. Don't worry. We get new new resident places. I guess this is kind of how real cities developed as well, though, right? Like, initially, I guess, there were just a couple people trying to be self-sufficient. And then eventually, we got fancier people. And they all just sort of work together. That's actually a cool idea, right? Like, we are uh, we are trying to, uh, to do the thing, I guess, that happened in real life to actual cities as well. It's surprisingly realistic, right? Am I crazy? Have a good one, Master Noodle. Take care. At least your girlfriend knows what she wants to watch. That's good. All right. So we have enough farmers coming in here once again. Um, I guess I could put another marketplace over here as well, right? Do these people need anything else than marketplaces? New subscriber detected. Not. The thing is, if I make this many homes, I wasn't planning on doing this at all, but if I make this many homes, I'm probably gonna have to like make sure that I have enough food for them as well. And then we're gonna run into a whole other host of issues. Yo, Dirtum Wee. Thank you, man. Welcome. Appreciate it. Okay, let's have a look. Everyone's still happy over here. They're still getting enough clothes. They're still having enough food. Just in case, I'm kind of tempted to just add on another one of those. Because I know I'm going to run out of food here at some point. May as well, right? Yeah, my economy is dropping. I don't know, man. I need a new newspaper. For them to continuously be reminded to spend their money, I guess. Is that how real life works? Guess so. 